So I was able to work with scientists in the clinical center pharmacy and develop the molecules, understand the analytical properties, develop analytical methods, understand the physical chemical properties, and then develop the formulations that would then be manufactured on site at the NIH and administered to the patients at the clinical center at the NIH. Most of the compounds that we have now that we believe are going to be sexy and they're actually going to become drugs, they're not soluble. The pieces are concrete. Janet was with us at Praces and Janet was very helpful in getting us to be able to administer our compounds and actually test the hypothesis. And that's where I, I got to know Janet initially. And even then, uh, a lot of us were saying to Janet, you've got the sense, go and set up a company. The business challenge is how do we get all these myriad pharmas and biotechs um, advancing their discovery engines into a product that can be used to treat patients. This is where Wolf Laboratories comes in. We're a company, a small biotech company of 35 people. We have to wear multiple hats. I am not trained in what Wolf Laboratories can do, but I need to get that done and I have to trust somebody to get it done for me in the timelines that I need. A typical situation that arises is a client comes to us and says, we have a pharmaceutical that performs very well in our testing. It is great. The only difficulty is we don't know how to get it into an animal because it's not soluble in water. And we are the ones who try to figure out how to get the appropriate dose into an animal to do toxicity studies, physical chemical studies, and then eventually how to develop a formulation that will be tolerable for administration to a person. We've used uh, Wolf Laboratories for a number of different types of services. Um, we have used them as an extension of our laboratory where we don't particularly have the capacity at the time in order to get a task done. Um, we've used them to develop analytical methods that we didn't have capacity at the time to, uh, uh, to produce. So we're really focusing in on what is the need in our industry. Can we help our clients get from late stage discovery and fill, select out a compound that has drug-like properties and then once they've nominated that compound, get it into the clinic as quickly as possible by filling in all these various activities. At the present time, we have our baby, our compound that we think is gonna be a great painkiller, but we need it to be soluble. We need to test the hypothesis. So if we can't get it soluble, we may never know this was going to be the next blockbuster as a painkiller. But with people like Janet, you can go there, you trust them, but also you trust that they're not missing anything. You trust that you're testing everything that you need so that you've got the best chance that this compound's going to work. And it would be terribly sad if we had a gorgeous compound and we just flushed it out of the bathwater. They need an experienced organization that is able to save time, do it right the first time, do it at an outstanding level of quality so that they can get their compound to the clinic faster and they are able to most cost effectively use their investors funds. The quality of the work done by Wolf certainly can save money down the road, time and money. Uh, in this business, um, like no other, time is money. And our timelines are really aggressive uh, and there's a lot of reason for that. Um, I've been brought up that if you had a $365 million compound, that's how much you bring in a year. That's a million dollars a day, and that's the way we operate. I think it's been very cost effective for us to work with Wolf Laboratories, um, simply because uh, we don't have to have um, all of the facilities that we're going to need on an occasional basis um, there and ready to go. One strength that we have as Wolf Laboratories is we gather people from various backgrounds and then train them in formulation science and in pharmaceutical chemistry. We have biologists, molecular biologists, cell biologists. We have people with tremendous expertise in analytical chemistry, which is crucial. If we don't understand what it is that we're measuring, we will never be able to provide any kind of value for a client. 
Now we already have a very strong a small molecule development group. We have historically been working in that area because that's where most of the focus in the pharmaceutical industry has been. But because we also have always had this emphasis in the biologics as well, as the industry has shifted to increase the number of biologics that are in development, we're there to meet that market need. Knowing the Wolf Laboratories is there it makes your life a lot, lot easier. Scientists are the ones who write the proposals for particular projects that we're working on. Scientists are involved with technical discussions immediately, so we do not have a disconnect between what we promise to deliver and what we actually can deliver, both in terms of science and the timelines. So Wolf Laboratories, if I can't get internal, add me done, or bioanalytical, I do have the option to go to Wolf Laboratories and get that work done. Again, an extension of the group uh, if needed. Many of our clients have only one product that they're working on. Small companies, sometimes virtual companies. Even if a company is somewhat bigger, success of a particular program into which they already invested a great deal of resources is of paramount importance. If we are able to deliver for our clients and make our clients look good, they look good to their bosses, they look good to their investors, they are able to get their compounds into the clinic. So we know that our commitment to integrity and excellence and teamwork has a ripple effect. And to the extent that we're able to help other people be successful, we're successful. So this is not a service organization that happens to do science. It's a scientific organization that happens to be in the service business.